What is a loom? I'm not sure. I don't know. But I do know that this is my new PDF-like format for the Serenum operating system. And it's what I'm going to be using for man pages and documentation. We've got this cool image here. This is um, because as a test for this, you know, sort of medieval style PDF, I've been um, converting my friend's blog and we'll be shipping that in the next release because, you know, why not? Uh, anyways, we have this cool text with the indented. We also have links. You know, your man pages don't have that. This is a hypertext document, which is um, why it has a link here. We can press the link boop, and we come back out here. We can now read an article about, for example, my experience going carnival. It's not my experience, though, but you get it. Look, we've got this text here. We've got subheadings. We have these nice lines. We have drop caps when it's um, it follows a heading. Some of these need to be adjusted. So you see this S here needs to come up a bit. I need to add more data into the font so that those can be um, correctly drawn. You know, we have this. And the reason, so you might be asking yourself why why isn't web good? Can't you just make a web document? And the answer is no, because A, we like limitations, and B, by putting constraints on the format, such as this, it can only be black and white or really foreground background. You know, dark mode is trivial with something like this. By only having, you know, foreground background, etc., uh, and this very constrained format, you ensure that you basically can't put stimulating content, distracting content uh, into this format because not only are we going to use it for man pages, this is what's going to become the new Serenum static web. Um, you know, we'll like softly migrate into that. And, uh, you know, probably also, I will probably start using this as sort of a local Zettelkast and doc, documentation system because we do unlike other alternate uh, internet protocols like Gemini or Gopher we actually support images but we support images in a form that isn't you know crazy degenerate um right now there's a detail here so if i for example try to go to the to the socratic dialogue here um you can see that the file extension is dsnc that's uh, documentum staticum uh, notis communibus uh, in other words, a static document using uh, UTF te UTF-8 text. Um, and so the images are actually encoded as text. They're encoded as with Monero Base 58 uh, encoding right now. That does mean that, for example, if I want to load this Deliria Builds Empires thing, this has... Um, this has an image, and so it has to process that image. That's quite slow, converting it from text. Um, so I will be writing a program later, a compiler that just goes and converts all the documents into the static binary, the binary form. Um, anyway, we can see this nice image. So this, I think, is what makes it so much better than Gemini, is you can have a picture, like an image like this, as you want for illustrations, diagrams. Um, and you can also, this is not done yet, but I will be adding a sort of text overlay. So just like you can, um, use a printer scanner sort of thing to scan a document and get a PDF. You want to be able to do that where you scan something in and put, o you have an image and you have text in it, which you can select or do control F search for, etc. Uh, and so we will be supporting that with having, um, you know, an image, because then an image is a great backdoor into, well, okay, if the, instead of complicating the, um, the uh, formatting language, I guess you'd call it, uh, like in Markdown, where you try to provide all these features for everybody's use cases. If you just allow, okay, I'm going to have this image, uh, it's still going to be just black and white or foreground, background, um, but I can annotate it with, here is some text, here is some text. Um, then if you want to build, a, for example, a table or make a nice graph with the labels, then you can do all that and it's going to look really nice. And uh, I think really is the best solution.
Uh, anyway, so we have this nice church. And then that took a, a little bit of time to load. If we tried to load the carnival thing, you know, that takes very little time, even though it has a lot of text. It's quite a big document. Uh, because again, it's the images that take time. So, and again, this one I think has the highest resolution image. And so we spend quite a while on it. Um, these links are internal links right now. Uh, there's a distinction between internal and external links where an internal link goes to a document or a page in that Zettelkasten or that sort of uh, container thing, uh, which right now, I mean, it's just a directory, right? I think these things are really simple. So if we say goodbye to the Luma and exit out, we can look at what this actually looks like in the command line. Here we have the Sparkburst directory, which, so when I invoked the program, right, I just invoked, um, you know, my program binary and then Sparkburst. And just like uh, HTML, because they uh, were reasonable here. Well, I mean, I don't know about reasonable, but the point is the word, the an index is actually a Latin word. And so we keep that. We keep the convention of, we go to the index file first. Um, so if we go in here, if we look at what the contents of the index are, we can output them. We can see this is the index file where we have uh, a title, a chapter. You can think of this of uh, index, 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 of course, is the Latin word for pointer and, uh, you know, our index file, an index of a book contains pointers to go into different chapters tells you what you can find there and we have paragraph down here if we output the let's see the carnival thing you'll see here as well that there's just a lot of text um this this is a um it changed color because there's a bug with my unicode conversion when it because this is a unicode file um Anyway, if we look at the loom, you can see, oh, let's, let's look at the Deliria one because the Deliria one has text to begin with, and then it has the giant, uh, the giant image. So here, this is that image of the nice church we saw encoded using Monero style base 58 encoding. So it's got the width and the height at the front and then the actual image data. And the image data is, so the actual binary data, it's a bit field. So each, each byte contains four pixels, you know, is this set, is this not set? Um, and so the, this takes time because decoding this from text is quite a heavy process. And so, um, you know, once we get the binary format, that'll be a lot, a lot faster. Um, is there anything more to talk about? Um, I mean, yeah, here's the loom. I, I actually put a, a lot of effort into trying to make this nice because I think it's it's very important that documents look good by default. This is something that HTML completely fails at. Um, and so if we go back here, well, and then there's, it also just is um, following a theme, right? But the theme, the nice thing about a document like this is that, you know, maybe you really, really hate this, this look. You hate the font, you hate the, the lines for the links. Uh, you know, you hate, you hate these drop caps and the spacing and everything and these fancy lines uh, under the titles. Well, actually, because all of this is in the client, you know, it's easily swapped out for something else. Um, and so we actually just want to represent the contents um, in a decent manner in the, the actual file format. And then your viewer can, you know, do whatever it wants with that. Um, there is still, you know, you still need to adhere to the format. Otherwise the person's, the intended reading experience is not going to be achieved 
is it? Um, I should probably remove that dashed line there. Which we could actually do. No, we won't do that now. Anyway, so, um, you know, we definitely don't have looms on Serenum. Um, but now, in the next release, we'll, we'll see when that arrives. Uh, we will have nice documentation. I'm also going to be trying to turn this into a windowed program. Um, because uh, that'll be interesting. I've been developing like a GUI drawing framework alongside this. Th that's actually why, you know, Serenum people will, others who do programming for Serenum will appreciate uh, how impressive this result is with the amount of text and stuff. And the fact that these lines are 60 FPS when they're moving. I think I'm recording at 30 FPS so, though, so that won't be visible. Um, anyway, yeah, so uh, I'll be making it a windowed application, I think, or at least experimenting with that. Um, yeah, it's impressive. This took me about five, six days to make, uh, which is um, you know impressive considering the last thing I worked on was Wi-Fi and that took four months. So it, it feels really good to be in, in the productive, productive motions. Uh, all right, well, uh, yeah, you can, I should have prepared like a plug screen probably, but uh, you can go to, uh, you know, let's just, we'll plug Spark Burst. Go to https uh, colon slash sparkburst.net slash musings to read this actual blog that exists because it's a real blog and it's good. Um, do that. <laughs>